you are watching Redicon. Deterministic effects include fetal effects for which the threshold dose is especially low. When a pregnant woman is exposed to radiation and radiation passes through her womb or radioactive material migrates into her womb, her unborn baby may also be exposed to radiation. It is known that fetuses are highly sensitive to radiation and incidence of effects has time specificity. Radiation exposure exceeding 0.1 gray or 100 millisievert at an early stage of pregnancy may lead to miscarriage. After this period, the possibility of miscarriage decreases but radiation exposures exceeding 0.1 gray during organogenesis may cause dysplasia or malformations. Then radiation exposures exceeding 0.3 grays from week 8 to 15 during cerebral development poses risks of mental retardation. Fetal effects are caused by radiation exposure exceeding 0.1 gray. Therefore, ICRP or International Commission on Radiation Protection states in its 2007 recommendations that a fetal absorbed dose less than 0.1 gray should not be considered as a ground for abortion. Risk of stochastic effects such as cancer or hereditary disorders may also increase depending on exposure dose level. Researchers in Belarus conducted surveys targeting 138 children born from mothers who were pregnant and were residing near the nuclear power plant at the time of Chernobyl accident. 122 children born from the mothers who were pregnant at the time of accident were exposed to little radiation. The surveys were conducted twice when the survey targets were 6 to 7 and when they were aged 10 to 11 in order to study effects of radiation exposure in the womb on their mental development. In both surveys, incidence of difficulty in speech and a disorder of emotions were larger among the exposed group than among non-exposed group with statistically significant differences. Regarding intelligence quotient, fewer children in the exposed group were above the above average compared with the non-exposed group and children on the borderline between normal levels and mental retardation were clearly larger in number. However, no correlation had been found between absorbed doses to thyroid and intelligence quotient and possibilities of other factors are suggested such as social, psychological and socio-cultural factors such as school education and guardians' academic levels associated with forced evacuation from contaminated regions. The possibility that radiation exposure during pregnancy has directly affected the intelligence quotient of fetuses and children after growth is considered to be low. A stress evaluation index survey targeting parents revealed clear correlation between incidence of parents' anxiety disorders and children's emotional disorder. It is unlikely that radiation from diagnostic radiology examinations will result in any significant effects on the child, but the possibility of a radiation-induced effect cannot be entirely ruled out. The effects of exposure to radiation on the conceptus depend on the time of exposure with respect to date of conception and the amount of absorbed dose. It does not imply or indicate that these effects shall occur with doses encountered in common examinations, as these doses are quite small. Prenatal doses from most properly done diagnostic procedures present no measurable increase in the risk of prenatal death, malformation or impairment of mental development over the background incidence of these entities. High doses, such as those involved in therapeutic procedures, can, however, result in significant fetal harm. There are radiation-related risks throughout the pregnancy that are related to the stage of pregnancy, the fetal absorbed dose. 
radiation risks are most significant during organogenesis and the early fetal period somewhat less in second trimester and least in third trimester. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.